I'm so curious for you, like at 19, what, what does imposter syndrome look like at 19? I didn't experience imposter syndrome until I left the local media scene. I think I had to fake through a lot of things to get to a point where I can now say I'm 100% comfortable in my skin in every room that I walk into. Ooh. So for me, success is... Yeah, tied to to money. yeah, I can see and do, see all those, you know, bubblegum, lollipop, butterfly things. But you know, success is when you wake up in the morning um, <laughs> and you're grateful for life. Cute. Yeah. But I'm still learning how to redefine success. When I now lost my job and I did not have that amazing tech money income, <laughs> and I really was forced to figure out what success looks like because that was the only thing that could get me out of that hole mm. that I believed I was in. Remember there I had imposter mm. syndrome. I was like, you see? That's why oh, you sorry. you were you yeah. were you were a nobody. This is why the system spat you mm. spat you out. I used to be like, once I get to this, once we win that thing, or once you know, and those things happen, and then the goalpost keeps it moving. keeps shifting. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I understand, but please let me get the jiwagon so I can understand. <laughs> I don't have an issue with people saying they don't have the money. I have an issue with you constantly saying it and being in that space where you require to have the money. Mm. I, I think that's without what, doing anything without doing it. anything about it. You constantly have no money, but you're there constantly drinking my drinks. You oh. constantly have no money, but you're constantly <laughs> asking me for a lift. Oh. So that, that for me is, is why I'm just like, yeah. like, I get your situation, but mm. do something about yeah. it. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of shame that comes with saying, I can't afford this. Mm -hmm. In the industry, it's called having champagne taste on a beer budget. Mm. So you yes. want those fine mm. things in life, but you can't afford them. So you end up probably maybe even going into debt. Okay, so for me, maybe an added element is I, I love, I like that when you look at me, you're just like, wow, Murugi is so wealthy. I like People having that perception of me. You understand it's what I mean? Detrimental. Mm -hmm. If I then all that money passes through your hands now, yeah. but your working age when you're making all this money, mm. and then when you're 50, 60, you can't retire because truly you, you don't have good money. It is, yeah. I'm reading the Tao of Warren Buffett. It's a fantastic mm. book. It just explains his lessons. And he says, only when the tide recedes will you know who was swimming without shorts on. And it's to do with stocks and that sort of thing. But all of you, all of you are there swimming and you're thinking, hey, when the water moves back, you will notice who had no shorts on because they did not prepare. Every time I talk to this person or we have any interactions, I still find myself in that position where in any other relationship, I am good, I am a level-headed person. In this relationship, I will call and call and call and call. Even when I have not been called for two months, Katomi is still on the phone. Mm. Ah, and this is why I get so triggered by double texting. You know, I'd, I'd rather not talk to you at all. If you didn't, you may call it childish, but if you didn't reply my last message, even if I had life-saving information for you, I'm not going to text you. That's it. Because I get so triggered. It takes me back to, you know, the relationship where, Aki, you look to one-sided. Monologue. One, 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 Yo? one, one. Saturday, Sunday. You know, Friday, okay, Saturday, I could reply Sunday, Sunday, email Monday. Hey. I love to reply Tuesday, hi. And you get so excited. Oh, oh, oh my God, he texted me. It's, it's one of those where you're now showing all your girls. Oh my God, he texted me. And immediately over there, bah, 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 again, talking to yourself for three days. I get like him. a mad woman. And oh you know, God. it's you, you, your inner child was just suffering. Imagine. And the song by Jasmine Sullivan, you yeah. know, My Foolish Heart, you're doing this to us again. You know, your heart makes all these decisions and you're not considerate of your inner child. Your inner child is just craving stability. God.